Hello and welcome, it's great to see you. Today I am back with my Lollipop Box Club design team project. We are making some miniature embellished envelopes. I'll show you how I am constructing the envelopes with the mini envelope punch board and then we will decorate a few of them. So I've got all of my papers here. I think I really wanna do one of these craft ones, one of these minty ones. Um, I like this paper and I might go for, I might try one of the chevrons or maybe the three is enough. Maybe we could do it and we can always uh, just decorate three, can't we? So if I remember rightly, I've made these a few times before. The size that I like best for the embellishments is the three by four. I think I'm incorrect. I think it is the two by three that I make for embellishments. I've noted it down somewhere, but who knows where. So we need to cut paper, which is four and one eighth by four and one eighth. So I'll cut all of these down to that size and then I'll come back to show you how I use the punch board to make them into envelopes. I have all of my pieces cut here now. Usually I would put these together with a sewing machine, but my sewing machine is currently being borrowed by a family member. So I am planning to use tape for these ones. The first thing you wanna do on here, find my size, the two by three, the first score line needs to be at two and three eighths. There we go. And then each time you turn it, you're lining this little pointer up with the score line you just made. And it is as simple as that. You can use this to round the edges of your envelope as well if you want to. My punch board is slightly broken. I don't know if you guys can see that but the plastic is broken and this is um, higher up on one side than the other. <laughs> so I'm sure that's going to give up one day soon. I'm going to have to purchase a new one. But this is your basic envelope shape. These are, I mean they're not tiny but I quite like them to be big enough to embellish. So let me score that one, not score it, it's the word burnish. So it will be this sort of size when you're done. I am gonna go ahead and do all of the others and then I'll come back and we can stick this bit down and decorate. I've just finished punching and scoring all of my envelope bases. So now we need to put these together. To do that, you want to fold two side ones in, bottom one up, and that is your basic envelope shape. Now, usually I would go ahead and stitch these three so that it stayed in place, but like I said, I've not got the use of my sewing machine. So I'm going to use double-sided tape. I'm using the really thin red line tape, and just putting it along this edge. That bit's a bit too long, so I'm going to fold it over on itself at the end there, like so. Get another piece. You could definitely do this with wet glue if you want to. Any glue would work really. Pritt stick, anything, anything that you've got. Then we fold these two in, this one up, press and you've got your super sweet little envelope ready to be embellished. So I'll do one more. So once you've got your shape like this, you wanna make sure that your the paper that you want on the outside is on the back, so not facing you. And you're folding it up so that the pattern you want on the outside shows. I hope that makes some sense. There we go. 
And again, exact same thing. I'm just putting tape along this part here on both sides. When I can find the end of the tape. There we go. Hold those in, fold that up, press it into place, and you've got your super cute envelope again. So I will put these two together and then I'll come back and we can decorate. Right, now that we have our envelopes ready to go, I've turned on my hot glue gun and I have grabbed these four rosettes out of my stash. You could easily make your own little rosettes using the kit papers, but I have a huge drawer full that I've been sent from Swaps and a bunch from CRG Art Designs. I will link Cheryl's shop down below, that's CRG Art. Um, she makes gorgeous, I think these ones are hers, the pinky ones, and then the others I've been sent in a swap. But when I was going through my drawer, these are the ones that I thought matched these colors the best. So I'm not sure who's going where, but I've grabbed the four. Then I'm pretty sure I want to use some of the trim that we were sent this month. So where's the musty one gone? Here it is. And I want to try and use this flare because I don't often get the flare used up from the kits. So my plan is to try and use that one as well. I do think that this craft one is a little bit plain. So I'm going to grab my Heidi Shine, not Heidi Shine, Heidi Swap Color Shine. Heidi Shine, that's from Inky Quill. <laughs> Um, and just put some of that across it. So it's got a little bit of something extra. I actually think it would be really cool to make little note cards to go in these. So if you'd be interested in seeing that video, let me know. Just because I'm looking at these tabs that are next to me and thinking they would be really fun. So obviously they bend, don't they? Let me just bend that over. They'll be really fun inside on like a little piece of um, the kit paper, maybe decorated or something. Great place to put a note as well. There we go. Cover the whole thing, why not? Oop, they're a bit big. Right, that's gonna need a while to dry. So we will do that one last. Let me pop that one off to the side and we'll work on one of the others. So, which rosette goes with which? Like this, something like that. We can always change them around. And then we wanted to use some of this trim, didn't we? I think this one will look really cute on this mint one back here. Let's run that across there. Oops. Check that the glue is hot enough. We need to move it over slightly if I can, and then all the rest of the way across. There we go, and we've still got space for our little rosette to go there. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna pop that one. We have this gold trim. Um, I'm going to cover up the center of that one. Try and find something to put on it so that <laughs> it's not showing the gold. Because I couldn't mix the two golds, it would bother me. I don't think I like that one on there. What about, we could do the mustardy color again. Let's do this one. Do I want it? Yeah, we'll just pull it tighter. In fact, I'll do that and then cut it off. There we go. And I 
know exactly where to snip this one. Oh, I guess you could double. Um, could double up the trim. I don't know that I would use the rosette if I was doubling up the trim though. It might be fun for something a bit different. Let's give that a go on this one. Whoop. You can always pick a different rosette if we still want one. And they do look very white on the inside at the moment. But when we add the little cards, they won't. In fact, I wonder if these little cards would fit. I think they're too big. Mm, oh, actually, I think they look quite sweet. That one is too big. Those two look okay. And then those two will have to have something slightly different inside. I will definitely add charms to these and I'm thinking that we could use these pins for that. So how many of these have we got? One, two, three. Oh, there's five. Brilliant. And we've got some of these hearts that I've not grabbed out yet. They would be fun to layer on here. You probably use the washi tape across these. Oh, I like it on this one. Probably should have put it down before I put the pom pom trim down. There we go. Adds a little bit of something extra. Got these stickers. We've got the circles, we've got the words, we've got all sorts that we can play with. Maybe hmm. this is upside down. <laughs> no wonder it looked a bit plain. Um, do I want something behind there? Right, we're gonna stick this one down and then we can layer on top and around and all of the rest of it. Like this, I would add the little gem daggly things over here in case you're wondering, in case we don't add them during the video. I mean, you could just add the flare and call it done. I think I want to add, oh, I like that on there. The little date. Too much of that yellowy color. Maybe. Hmm. Have a look, I want something to layer with that date word. Maybe these. That's sweet. Hmm. I think that might be too much of the green colour. Yeah, too much green. No, don't the yellow one. Well, these would have been cute to add in the corner. Um, maybe one of the bigger stickers. I mean, that one's sweet, but then I cover up the floral, which. I don't really want to lose the floral. I might do it though because it looks really cute. I'm trying to peel it off of here in the stack that I want it in. There we go. Whoop, I need my tweezers. Something like, hmm. Over, do I want on there? Right, let's staple that. I could use the really fun green staples, but I've not got my big stapler out. Whoop. Oh. Leaves are moving. 
See if I can staple them where you can't see it. There we go. And then add that onto there. Oop. Add some glue behind here. Could have used some foam tape, but the rosette gives it quite a lot of dimension anyway. I need some under here as well for the sticker. Oh, I didn't even consider these, this would have looked nice. I put my tweezers somewhere again. Where on earth have they got a backup pair? <laughs> we'll use the backup pair. So I was thinking when I was looking at this, I wonder if these little letters would look cute, sort of as if they're falling. Let's get these two in there slightly. There we go. Like so. And then what could we pop on there? I could really put a date, but I want to put some numbers, but I don't have a date that means anything to me. But it would be great if you were putting it into a journal or something. I think we want one of the I either want one of the black ones or I will map the white one on one of the pieces of paper. I have this off cut here, so that's probably about perfect for matting one of these. Let's go for good vibes only. We could pop that on there. Do I want that up on foam tape? I think so, yes. Where are my tiny foam squares? Who knows? <laughs> I will use one of these instead. Let's just cut it a bit smaller. And then all that one needs is a few gems. And that one is finished. Let's move on to... Let's go for this one because it's a little bit different. We've not got the rosette on this one. I am thinking we could use a stack of books. So I think I like, oh, what if we did this one? With these on top. I like that, but this needs some foam tape. What else? I feel like it needs another layer. In fact, I might back this on something. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I'm messing with it too much. Oh, one of these hearts might be just what it needs. Yes, let's have, let's do a couple of the hearts. Um, I mean there's three there, and then staple in the centre, and we can fold the edges up to give you a bit of dimension, a little bit of extra interest, there we go. It's almost like a little book heart. A little book in itself. I might need to back this on something just because I've got all of the trim there. It's not sitting quite how I want it to. I have backed this one on some card and I think I might put that one up on phone tape as well actually. And then stack of books. In fact, I'm going to put this on another layer of foam tape so that the heart can puff up a bit more. That one definitely needs some gems, but other than that, I think that one looks super sweet as well. And I will add one of these little pieces with some charms or gems or something 
In fact, I wonder if I can add these. These tweezers are very sharp. <laughs> Wondering if I can just pierce that through because it is a pin. So, there we go. Easy as that. There we go. Straight through there. Um, maybe I would have it. No, yeah, like this. There we go, and then it's perfect to add little charms and things onto. I can do this one afterwards. And then our final one is this one. I really want to use that blue frame. Don't know why, <laughs> I just like it. Um, shall we add, I mean, I've got pom-pom trim that we could add, or what else? Oh, I'm not sure what to do on this one. Always get stuck on the last one, typical. Don't know. Right, we're gonna use some more of the pom-pom trim. So that they all look cohesive. I want them to look like a set, you know? Not identical, but just siblings or cousins. <laughs> Minty one, I might go with that. Minty colour instead. Um could still use I still still think this one needs I need some of this book colour on it. I have got some more hearts, let's grab those. that in the back there still add some gems but it makes these ones match a bit better and I still have the one that can hang out down here adding a staple just because I can <laughs> have used the journal mm, no let's put this on some foam foam makes everything better oh I haven't used the good vibes I wonder if that would work on here so sit that down the little good vibes piece um not really well, that's annoying. That was my uh, my plan, <laughs> wasn't it, to use that one up? I mean, it looks okay. I think it's a bit too chunky, maybe. The side isn't sticking down for some unknown reason. What about these? Aren't really the right colour, are they? A little floral. That's sweet. No. Okay. Right, we might need to, oh, that one with a little tiny word sticker on it, I think is gonna be the answer. sure that I even like it down there to be honest what is going on right, this made me happy might cover it up yes it 
does. I like that. We could use oh, one of the pens. Be a nice touch on there. Let's add one of the pens and let's snip this off. So looking at the stars, there are a few little stars and there's a little flower on here as well actually. It's very sweet. Um, no. Yeah, that pulls some yellow into that one. Like this little blue star. To pull some of the darker blue into that one. I think I like the way they are now. I don't want to mess with them too much. I think gems and we're done. Still not sure that I like this word. <laughs> I'm so indecisive, it's ridiculous. Oh, I like how this made me happy on there. Hmm. Didn't see that coming. Maybe if we have remember down here. Nope. Something good. Works. Maybe. I always say I'm done and then mess with it for another <laughs> half an hour or something silly. It's fine. I'm being picky. Maybe I need two. It's a little timeout. Can you time out? Here's the story. There we go. Right. I'm leaving that as is before we mess about all night long. So those are our three. I mean, my fourth one is still dry. So we're not going to bother that. These will have a little one here and a little one here. I definitely want to add some gems to these and I will share final pictures with all of the sparkly bits over on my Instagram. So if you want to find me over there, the link is in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out all of the other Lollipop Box Kit design team. They are fantastically talented. I will have the blog linked down below and that will have links to all of the projects for this month's kit. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.